this is going to be a pretty rough explanation of how Kirkyo Quadratic works, and I'm going to explain it using the stats of the Hydro Rocket Pods. It's not the exact stats, and it's not what you want to be using for quadratic scaling, but it's much easier for me to explain. Alright, so say you have two balloons here, and then you have the Hydro Rocket Pods missile right there. And then, let's say you just boot, and you can see there, you can create one explosion every two peers, so that creates one explosion, um, boom. This is so scuffed, boom. Then, you end up dealing one damage to one boon, and one damage to the other boon. Which means you deal a total of two damage. One plus one equals two. Simple enough. Then let's rewind and let's say instead of having two boons, you have four boons clumped up. And then your Hydro Rocket Pods missile, as per usual, hits. There are four balloons, which means four pierces used up. That means you create two explosions. Boom, boom. Each of those explosions hit all four of those balloons. Which means you get one, two, three, four, four damage from one explosion. And then one, two, three, four, another four damage from the second explosion. And that's a total of eight damage dealt. So we've multiplied the n number of balloons by 2, but we went from going from 2 damage to 8. And now let's say you pierce cap an O3O Hydro Rocket Pods. There's 6 balloons, and then your missile does your thing, it creates 1, 2, 3 explosions. Those 3 explosions all hit all 6 of those balloons, and it results in 18 total damage. So we're going from 2, da two damage to 8 to 18. While we're only going from 2 wounds to 4 wounds to 6. You actually deal more DPS to a single boon if there are multiple balloons that you hit. And that's the gist of Quadratic Kirkyo. You use stuff like a Snowstorm, a Moab Press, or most commonly Icicle Impale for its consistent grouping to group up everything so that you are more commonly going to hit that insane scaling. Like, that's three times damage to each boon, which is absolutely nuts, especially on a hero that already does decent DPS. And not to mention, Cure kill level 16, which is the usual level you're getting cure kill at during the late 90s, has either 5 or 6 explosions, which means you can scale up even higher. And that's, that's really the gist of the strategy. Hopefully, that explains things well enough because it is 11pm and I want to sleep. I do not feel like recording another take.